I'm at, I'm at West End Primary at the moment, which is kind of a really Greens friendly booth. Everyone in West End seems to vote Greens these days. But what I've really liked is that it's not quite so adversarial and snarky as some places. Here it's really chill, and I think maybe we've helped with the vibe of that because all the Greens volunteers are just sort of really friendly and relaxed, and that kind of sets the tone for everyone else, which has been cool. Yeah, it's been, it's my first time as a candidate, so I quite don't really have anything to compare it to, but I've had fun. Yeah. I, th I think one of the best experiences for me was the, the first poem I put out. So we've had a fairly big social media presence, and we've released a lot of videos, and that first video, which was talking about political corruption and the systemic flaws of Queensland democracy, got such a positive response, and I was so excited by that. One of the, one of the big goals for this campaign was to energise Brisbane's progressive communities and, and remind people that if you want positive change, you actually have to work for it. You have to get out there and campaign. My hope is that this campaign will act as maybe a catalyst or a, a nexus for people to start thinking more critically about the world, but also for the left, for Brisbane's progressive activist communities to think differently about how they interact with the broader city. Research and development funding has totally bottomed out under the current government, both state and federal. We want to try and kickstart that by providing some grants to people, um, both at the very beginning, the innovation stage, and then at the commercialisation stage. Clean, green, renewable energy, um, support for innovation, a world-class public transport system that, that Queensland deserves, could create an awful lot of jobs as well, and looking after icons like the Great Barrier Reef, which employs 60 9,000 people. The coal industry is damaging that, climate change is damaging that, so if it's about jobs, we've got to look after our reef. Look, I'm really excited that Greece is having a huge change and they're voting against austerity. Um, I'm hopeful that that's what their economy needs to turn it around and it will be wonderful for them to ride that wave of positivity that's coming. And I think Tony Abbott has really been a lightning rod for Australians who thought they were getting one thing and they've woken up with something completely different. There's a major paradigm shift happening there where people are starting to question not just the current, the, the most recent government's austerity measures, but neoliberal capitalism in general. And they're starting to say, well, why are the rich getting richer and the poor are getting poorer? Why, why is that the status quo? The early election meant that a lot of young people weren't enrolled to vote. So there's something like 4,000 people in this electorate who aren't enrolled to vote. And a lot of them would be voting Greens. They're all young people, newly moved to the suburbs. I'm pragmatic, but lessons learned. We'll, we'll do better next time. Yeah. yeah.